All right, in this video, we're going to look at what happens when you pull more than one electron off an atom. So if you've watched the ionization trend video, you understand what ionization energy is. But then we look at, okay, that is the first ionization energy. That's when you pull one electron off. So every time you pull an electron off, it gets progressively harder. So let's say you had element X and you pulled an electron off it, and now it's X+. plus. Well, this X plus is going to be harder to pull an electron away from because it's positively charged. If I'm trying to separate something negative from it, it's going to want to get pulled back in. And that gets harder and harder as this charge gets greater and greater. So every successive ionization energy gets higher. But that's only half the story. The other half is there's a point where there's a big jump usually. Um, and so let's look at this. So here, how much energy does it take to lose the first one? 801 then 2430, then 3600, then 25,000. There's a huge jump after the third. And why is that? So what this essentially means is that three of these electrons come off relatively easily. And then when you try to pull a fourth or fifth off, they're really, really tough. So what does that suggest? It suggests that this atom, which we'll call X, probably has three valence electrons. And so if it has three valence electrons, these three come off with relative ease. Again, they do get progressively harder. But then the fourth one becomes really difficult because now you're pulling from an inner shell. So maybe you have a ring like this, and then you have three in your next ring. So once you lose these three, now you're pulling from an inner shell, and that's going to be that much harder. So this particular data here, since it lost three relatively easily, suggests that this atom has three valence electrons. And that's what we can conclude from this um, information. Now, we're also told it's in the second period. So if we're told that, we can make a guess as to what element it is. So the second period, right, is the second row. And so if we know it has three valence electrons, we follow our rules, we count from the left. This has one, two, three, four, all the way up to eight valence electrons. And so if it has three valence electrons and it's in the second row, it's probably boron. And that is the conclusion we can draw. So anyway, that's sort of how you look at this data. Just look for the big jump. And then once you find it, you know that all the electrons before it pretty much came off easily. And so that's how many valence electrons are likely in the atom. And that's it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.